So here we have the Jaguar XE on a 65 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. Then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a four-door car with those black alloy wheels to match the colour of the car. We'll start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the vehicle from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. You can increase this space even further with the three individually folding rear seats as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the left-hand side. And in the middle, you can see the main trip computer, which includes the fuel gauge. It'll also show you what gear this car is in there. It's an automatic. Uh, we're in park at the moment. And we have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls on the left-hand side and the controls that will change the information on this central screen. We've also got voice activation just there, not only for your phone, but that'll work for your sat-nav, for example, as well, which we'll come to in just a moment. And then over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter for the car. Just behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus paddles enable you to change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to do that. And then in the center, we have the main touch screen. So you have a few buttons down the right and left-hand side. So for example, uh, that button will take you to the screen that we're on at the moment, where you can access your satellite navigation. As I mentioned, you can use the voice activation and input and address that way, or you can use uh, the options up on the touch screen. It's a very easy system to use. Uh, back to the home screen, and that's where you access your uh, music options just there. And we have a number of ways in which we can listen to music. So as you can see, DAB, FM and AM radio, auxiliary input as well. You'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once you uh, pair up your phone to the car, which is done down in the bottom left-hand corner we're going to say no to that at this point in time. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute, and that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air, which you can hear it doing in the background there. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings. Below that, we then have the start and stop button for the engine. We've got the main volume for the stereo just here. And then the dial that would be the gear lever uh, in essence. So we're in park at the moment. We've got reverse, neutral, drive and sport there as well. When you uh, switch the car off, that will lower down into this area to give you a kind of a flush uh, dash area just there. Below that, we can turn off our stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system on and off from here. We can change the driving setup of the car. So it's in kind of its normal mode at the moment. You can put it in dynamic, back to normal, eco or winter. Uh, and that will change the driving setup fairly significantly. And we can turn the traction control on and off as well from there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.